Oh, hey, Dr. Pablo is ready to see you now. <laughs> hey, guys, just wanted to do a quick video and show you a really cool trick. And right now, as you can see, I'm actually at the doctor's office here at Carbon Health. Uh, the startup where I work at uh, and I just took the office and I said I need to record a video so let's get started okay so I learned this trick on a medium post called 10 sketch tricks that will make Owen Wilson say wow I'm adding the link uh, on the description so there are many other tricks that are pretty cool so go visit that site by John Moore that article uh, okay so let's get started so this trick is to make a scatter graphs and if you don't know what those are it's a type of plot or mathematical diagram using Cartesian coordinates to display values for tip okay whatever that whatever that says it at the end it, it looks something like this okay so let's get to it so here I have something I already made this so as you can see I'm going to add the, the dots here so all I'm going to do first I'm just going to press B to uh, use the pencil tool uh, you can press B or you can also access it through your tools uh, let me customize my toolbar oh my god where's the pencil yeah there you go here's the pencil I got the pencil now that I got the pencil I'm going to do a random line and look at this it, yes as random as that just use your mouse and go wild just like this and now that you have your random line there now you want to go to the border settings let me make this a little bit bigger and then here on the border settings the first thing you want to do is make it uh, rounded corners everything around it and then let's make it a little bit thicker let's go uh yeah four four points yeah four points at four pixels in thickness i'm going to change it to a dark color around there and now here's where the magic happens i'm going to go to the settings on my borders and then here on the dash i'm going to just press one and then here, I'm going to press 100, a big number. 100, and look at that. Ow! <laughs> it just added, like, the thing is that there's so much spacing between the dots that uh, it's just creating a small little dots. But since you made a random line, now it creates this effect. So I'm going to do another one here, and this one is going to be in two different colors. So then you can get to, uh, like, for example, chocolate and strawberry. I'm going to actually add these two colors to my uh, document colors just to have it there. Da, 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 da. Okay, now I'm going to press P and I'm going to start adding a line. Around there, just a line like this. Okay, there you go. Okay, let's, let's, I'm going to add another one. So I'm going to add another one that's on top of it. There you go, I know, it looks, it looks like crap right now, but we're gonna fix it, don't worry. So I have that one selected. I'm going to make it the chocolate color and I'm going to make it, uh, I don't know, eight points and just the same, again, settings, make it rounded corners and that's just put put one point and then put a big number in the gap there you go and i'm going to select the other uh, path i'm going to change the color to the strawberry color again eight and then i'm going to apply the same on my settings one and a hundred oh crap what happened there oh i didn't make it rounded corners and eh, see that there you go. Now it looks it looks pretty cool, right? You can impress people with your super graphics. Now you can use this same effect to add, for example, uh, random uh, stars behind uh, if it is a sp space theme thing. So for example, here I drew Princess Leia and I want to add stars behind Princess Leia, rest in peace. So I'm going to press P again. I'm going to start drawing a random line here. And da 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 Da, 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 da. Oh, that's Indiana Jones. What am I? What am I doing? Just on the weekend, I was watching Indiana Jones. Uh, yeah, I'm a nerd. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that, guys. There you go. Four points. Change it to white, and let's do let's do the whole thing again. Round the corners. One. Let's do two hundred. There you go. <laughs> Look at that, that's so cool, right? I'm going to put it on the, on the back, and I'm going to duplicate it, and I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees just to have more stars. And then this one, I'm going to actually make it make them a little bit smaller, just so there's a little bit of depth. And probably the opacity, can change the opacity if, if, if you wanted to. And there you go, there you have it. There you have the, uh, the they call it the scribble method. It's just that to create like random little dots. But wait, there's more. <laughs> I have a bonus, bonus, a bonus uh, plugin that I just found out uh, that was released recently. It's called Tiny Faces plugin. It just like adds avatars and names. And there are already a lot of plugins that do this, but this one I really like because it was so simple. It's just, look at it. I'm, I'm going to just select these guys and I'm going to go to plugins, tiny faces, and that's it. <laughs> There's no more selections, just fill with avatars and names. That's all you need, right? Boom, 
<laughs> like magic. And then it works with this these kind of shapes too. Let's do it. Look at that. <laughs> it's so cool. So Tiny Faces plugin, you can download it using the uh, Sketch uh, Toolbox plugin thing. Yeah, Sketch Toolbox and then just search for Tiny Faces. Tiny Faces. Yeah, and there you go. You will be able to uninstall Tiny Faces plugin just by going there. Super simple. I love it. Thank you guys. Hope this was helpful from the bottom of my belly. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>